Hey everyone, Swamp Fox here. On to the next part of the Sojourner Achievement, Gardens of Unity. Uh, you can find this quest over in the Emerald Enclave, Enclave, over at Invel Draken. You're going to talk to Tender Xena. Garden Variety. Are you enjoying the buttery, uh, the butterfly garden? The buttery garden. I would enjoy that probably better. Uh, you know, there's a much larger garden just to the south of here, an older draconid by the name of Rear Worm Peck tends to it. Oh my god, I'm not, I'm not, Rear Peck? You could always use an extra pair of hands. He has an assistant, but I've never actually seen him. I can't imagine he's of much help. If you stop by, be sure to let him know that Xena sent you. Oh, I like the outfit. Where's this assistant? What is this place exactly? When I retired, I decided to pick up gardening. You found yourself in the Gardens of Unity, actually. They are dedicated to the five dragon flights. Well, four of them, at least. This gazebo here is part of the green dragon flights domain. To the south, there is an hourglass that serves as the beacon to the bronze dragon flight. And a, a grand red tree that belongs to the red dragon flight. To the east lies the blue dragon flight's gazebo filled with arcane tomes and magical artifacts. I'm just an old retired draconid who has found peace and quiet maintaining this gardens or these gardens is what I should say. It was very relaxing until recently. Actually, what do you got for garden tools? Yeah, let me see that. Oh, I can't. Can't use any of them. Poop. Anyway, oh, praise the Titans, help at last. Azeroth Pest Control. You there, hatchling. Lend me your hand, won't you? These podlings are ripping up all my plants. All kinds of elementals have invaded the gardens, and they seem to be affecting the wildlife. It's like their energy has driven these podlings mad, more mad than usual. I've got my hands full with just these three. Please, before they rip up all the flower beds. You know, I can kill them for you if you'd prefer that. Well, I guess I'm just going to murder everyone. All right. About eight, right? I think the titans you showed up. Otherwise, I don't know if I'd ever get these pests to leave. So what do you say to helping an old draconid out with the rest of the gardens? Gardener's Apprentice. Basilton. Lord Basilton, where are you? My executive assistant and apprentice, Lord Basilton, has gone missing. He loves to explore, but he's even worse at defending himself than I am. I'm a gardener, not a warrior. Could you please go find that layabout? I need him here so I can think. He's usually in the shed digging through piles of junk. Be careful, though. He can be a bit prickly at first. Oh, my God. He's a porcupine. Oh, wait. Who's this little guy? I help Grandpa in the garden sometimes. I'm not very good at it. I just sort of sit and watch. Sometimes the Vorquin will let me pet them if I stay still enough. Aravaka picks idly at the grass. My mom says that I'm here to help serve the green flight, but I don't know how watering plants is supposed to do that. They're not even here. But I guess I'll keep helping Grandpa Grim. Okay, that, that little guy is adorable. Old Draconid's Junk, a glistening pocket watch, plays amongst the many piles of junk. Maybe Grim Peck will know what to do with it?
Hello, Lord Basilkin. Basilton. Excuse me. This was in the shed. It's not mine, but I think I remember who it belongs to. The gardener's apprentice. Ah, there he is. My lovely assistant. Who's a good boy? A good spiky boy. The Silton. Who's the spikiest? That's right. You are. <clears throat> uh, thank you, Helmsiller. <laughs> elemental extract. Huge fire elemental destroyed the pond a few days ago. I think it's behind all this ruckus, but it's too big to fight. We need to weaken it somehow. But don't count on old Gr <laughs> I'm going to call you Greer. <laughs> old Greer out just yet. I have a plan. Water elementals decide to make themselves at home in the Blue Flight's gazebo. If you can collect enough essence from them, we might be able to use their magic against them. Fight fire with fire, right? Well, fight fire with water, I guess. Anyway, you should probably get going. <laughs> Ashing out. I'm sure the podlings aren't the only wildlife acting like hooligans. Alastraza's tree has always been a thorn in my side. Her life magic draws all sorts of plants and animals to it, good and bad. And guess who has to take care of the bad ones? Old Greer. That's who. Aspects above, I'm getting too old for this. The stewards aren't trained in combat, so it's up to you to take care of the Lifebinder's weed problem. You kid on the clock. Oh yeah, this pocket watch belongs to one of the stewards that helped me tend to the gardens. He's one of Nosdormu. Uh, Orismu, I think. I can't keep all these kids straight. Most days he stands next to the hourglass near Alastraza's tree without moving or blinking. Those Dormu's bunch have always been strange, if you ask me, but he'll be grateful you brought, him, brought this to him. You want to go with Helm's Hammer, Spiky Boy? I bet you do. Wow, just mentioning the word garden says I'm excited. All right, Baselton, let's go. Let's go fuck some shit up. Nope, don't want to take out the fork one. That'd probably be bad. Guess we'll talk to uh, Arismu first. Thank you, Helmshammer. Nosdormu will be pleased to have this returned. Why do you talk like that? And how do you know my name? I'm dedicated to serving the aspects of time. My apologies, your confusion is quite warranted, for I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Orismo, and I am a steward in training of Nosdormu, the leader of the Bronze Dragon Flight. As such, I do not age as most creatures do. Its keepers of time, members of the Bronze Flight, and its stewards experience the flow of time differently than most. I've spent centuries witnessing this world's timeline and have gained much wisdom, though my appearance may suggest otherwise. As for now, as for how I know your name, it is simple. I have already met you. Well, how? Sands through the hourglass. Like the rest of the gardens, Nosdormu's hourglass has had to weather the elemental unrest. Turbulent wind elementals came through and scattered the magical sand contained within. Without the sand, Nosdormu's influence here is greatly diminished. As a steward in training, I've been tasked with overseeing the hourglass at all times. You would collect the sand in my steed. I would be eternally grateful. And he means that, because, you know... Eternal. I think someone already rolled through here.
I'm curious what this mysterious flower does. Seed bomb? Excellent work. Nosdormu informed me yesterday that he wishes to express his gratitude. Once you have finished all your tasks, return to Greer. He will be in need of your assistance. Oh, look at the little one. Is everyone doing quests here? Ten lashers slain. Fortunately, podlings don't count as lashers. And... Well, I take it the spawn rate for this is either abysmal... Well, maybe we'll go do one of the other ones first. Let's do the watery essence. Three. How many elementals need to die for me to get five? Check on uh, the Lasher situation. Well, I at the very least tagged this one. There we go. Trying to be nice. Oh, hey. Druid, or not Druid, Hunter. That'll be 10 for me. Uh, 
In all my years, I've never seen so many elementals in one place, so why did it have to be my gardens? <laughs> Excellent. This is just what we need to snuff out those fire elementals once and for all. Lashing out. Elemental problem is more dire than I thought. If you killed that many, Alistraza will be happy at least. Blame at last. All right, dungling. I placed all the water elemental ele essences, essences in this jar for you. If you just toss it at that big one, it should work. I mean, when has water not worked against fire? It's foolproof. The heat, uh, it's, it's good for my joints, so I'll just... It, it isn't good for my joints, so I'll stay here. I trust you can handle it. Usually it's the other way around. Oh, the Silton doesn't want to come. All right, best. Oh, now he's tiny. Little, little, little guy. Incredible. I wasn't sure it was going to work, but I'm glad it did. Carry on, Basilton. There's one more thing this old Dragonade would like to ask you before you leave. Back when Lord Basilton and I first met, we would go on all sorts of adventures together. I think that's why he wanders off. He misses exploring. I can't do that for him anymore. But you can. You can take him to see places I never would have dreamed of, I can tell. However, we should ask Basilton what he thinks first. Uh, Basilton... Uh, statistically, you're going to spend a very, very large amount of time inside my bag. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Silton looks up to you and gives you an excited squeak. He'd love to go along with you on more adventures. Oh. Oh my god, he's got a little hat. Jealous of him, if I'm being honest. To be young again, exploring the world. We'll have to visit sometimes so you can tell me what he's been up to. Well, that wasn't too bad. You got a free pet? 